something something continued consolidation in the semiconductor and chip space. Intel has agreed to sell its NAND memory unit to SK Hynix for about $9 billion. The acquisition will include Intel's solid state drive, NAND flash, and wafer businesses, quoting Bloomberg. The deal should shore up Hynix's position in a business that's boomed after COVID-19 drove demand for the chips used in everything from Apple's iPhones to data centers. It whittles down another player in an industry the Korean company dominates alongside Samsung and Micron Technology, potentially buoying NAND flash prices. Hynix's shares fell about 1.8% after analysts raised concerns about the price tag on its largest acquisition ever. Quote, Hynix is now entering the hyperscale control chip business by purchasing Intel's business. Although there is some skepticism about the price of the deal, I think this won't be a burden because it will ensure solid long-term cash flow, said Greg Rowe, an analyst at HMC Securities. The market consolidation is good news for Korean memory chip makers and will alleviate oversupply issues, end quote. Intel has said for months it was exploring options for the Flash Group. Hynix, however, won't be buying the Optane division, which develops chips that can permanently store data and read and write it faster than NAND, if not faster than traditional DRAM. The product, which went on sale in 2018, was tested successfully by some large cloud providers and Alibaba Group Holding, used the technology to support its massive singles-day sales. Bob Swan, Intel's chief executive officer, described Optane as, quote, something special last year. The acquisition also further streamlines Intel's struggling empire. Since taking over in 2019, Swan has looked to sell several units that aren't part of the company's focus on processors for personal computers and servers. The Santa Clara, California-based company has delayed production of important upcoming chip lines and now lags behind some industry players in manufacturing technology. Its shares are down about 9% so far this year, while the benchmark Philadelphia semi Semiconductor index is up almost 29%, end quote. The NAND market is a really competitive and closely studied market, but it might be a bit niche for us to delve into too deeply. I'll let Patrick Moorhead's analysis from Twitter sum it up, quote, NAND has become a bit commoditized, and to be profitable, one needs to go big and spend tens of billions of dollars in manufacturing. I think Intel is better off focusing on compute, networking, and Optane, which helps its compute, end quote. End quote. 